You know, something else that's really annoying though is oh. how long this ActaBlizz situation continues. Oh, <laughs> good transition. <laughs> Didn't see that coming, did you guys? <laughs> that was a good one right there, man. So, so obviously, obviously we heard and there was, there was much celebration yesterday in regards to the fact that we heard that Judge Corley ended up giving us the – well, not us. Good Lord. I'm not Microsoft. I do the same thing. I am not I, Microsoft. I, always, I say us, and everyone's like, see, see, that's see. where you're shill. Like, yeah, that's probably true. Yep, that's Fan right. Boys. They paid for this house. <laughs> they paid for this house. They paid for my new car. It's, you know. Um, but, yeah, no. So, obviously, like, they, they gave Microsoft the A-OK, like, hey, this is fine. Everything's good. We're going with this. You guys are free to make this purchase. We have just found out over the last little bit of which crazy, I think, almost had a stroke yes, or, a heart attack or something yes. <laughs> when he saw it. Um, but obviously, so the FTC has appealed this deal, uh, which they were given, I believe it was up until Friday this week was the yeah, time. Friday frame. It was, yeah. So it was it was originally supposed to be later next week, I think midweek. Corley ended up telling telling them like, "Hey, you have to have this in by Friday." They beat them to the punch. They dropped that news today. So the question at this point, right? Obviously, is where do we go from here? Uh, I think I think a lot of the conversation. I think Retri, even when you and I were talking yesterday, I think the general consensus is like, yes, they're going to do this. Unfortunately, yeah, yeah. but. Is there a path forward for them? I personally don't think so. But you Richard, mean for the, you mean for FTC? For the FTC, yes. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. Let's clear. clarify that. Uh, yeah. A path forward uh, for the it's FTC. Just a, yeah. It's just a waste of money. It's just a waste of money. Uh, they're you know going going to federal court for them versus the hearing. They lost at the hearing. Uh, the federal uh, federal court's gonna be worse. Uh, I just don't see. I just don't see it. Um, I can't see them winning. Uh, but. I, honestly, to to me, like I, I've been saying this for a while, like on Boom's podcast and other podcasts, um, I'm not I'm not worried about the FTC. I'm I'm worried about the the CMA. I have been for a long time. I think they're the bigger the, the, they're the bigger problem. I'm more curious of what the hell is going to happen with them. If we're just gonna we're just gonna pull cloud from from the UK, we gonna pull a Call of Duty uh, cloud out of UK. I'm hearing all kinds of uh, crazy stuff. Are we going to pull out of UK altogether and just and have a third-party publisher uh, publish all Activision Blizzard games for, for the UK, which is another uh, like nuclear option I've heard. Mm -hmm. um, for, for me, the FTC is a non... It's, it's kind of a non-story. Uh, am I surprised that they did this? Absolutely not. They're just like... I don't feel like they live in the same world as the rest of us. They're... You know, you're kind of like in your little bubble and you think you have a chance while the rest of us are looking at common sense and just being logical and, and shaking our heads and going, uh, how do you think you're going to win this? Like, um, like, maybe I'll maybe I'll maybe maybe they will win. I'll eat that L. But I, I can't see uh, Microsoft lawyers losing this after what I just listened to uh, for over 30 hours in the hearing and just watch the FTC just get their asses handed to them, handed to them. And if cloud is the problem, if a non-existent market is the problem and they lose on that grounds, then, Whoa. you know, what, what, there is no justice in the world, essentially. You know what I mean? Uh, that, that's the only side that makes me think we have a chance of losing is if, nice. if, you've got, if you're in front of the wrong person, right? Because, you know, per, people are biased. People can be stupid. Um, <sighs> but I, I, don't, I don't know. Like, it, it's... I, uh, Go ahead, I, go ahead, Lou. Go ahead. I was going to say, we just got a major break in news. Microsoft okay. has responded to the FTC's decision to appeal George Corley's ruling. Here's what Microsoft said. We are disappointed that the FTC is continuing to pursue what has become a demonstrator. Blah, blah, blah. What was it? De <laughs> demonstrate? Did somebody say for me? De De yeah. Demonstration? Is that what you're trying to say? Demonstrably weak case. Oh, demonstrably. Demonstrably, thank you. Is, is that a dem <laughs> oh lord? It's a word. Yeah. Case. <laughs> it's a word. <laughs> and this is the part where it lights everything up. And we will oppose further efforts to delay the ability to move forward. Yep. Holy sh poop yep. nuggets. Mm -hmm. No, a hundred percent. Like this is yeah. this is what they were lining themselves up to 
from day one. Like I think what retro, I think you were talking about it, but I think I was even hearing it when I was listening to boom show is like, this is stuff they've prepared for the, yes. I guarantee you, cause this is a game. This is a game of chess essentially. Yeah. You don't pay this much money and get involved in something like this unless you're preparing uh, ahead of time. You have you have the option there's A, a you have the option team. B. There's yeah. the right, the option A and the option B. And there's a team, there's the people that we know about. We know their names like Beth Wilkinson. We mm-hmm. like we know the main lawyers. For and there reason. is about 20 other people in a room that have thought of every damn scenario you can possibly think of that to to argue this thing. That's their their whole job is to just figure out what the FTC is going to kind of try try how they're going to try to stop this, and you know, and then they feed all that information to to the high profile lawyers. This goes way the, the amount of money like I just cannot see Microsoft losing this. the The case is weak; it always has been. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I I don't know what else to say on this. I, I'm. The CMA is the problem, in my opinion. This, this is a joke. It's a waste of time. They're not going to lose. They're not losing this. There's no way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I'll take the and if and if, if I'm wrong, I'll take the L. But I just, <laughs> I can't see it. I just hey, can't. I, so I I think uh, I think because we can even we even can even go like way back to the very beginning of this. And there are some things right where like I, I we were having this conversation yesterday, and I brought it mm-hmm. up. Right is like there have been a lot of people out there that have been very adamant about the fact that this thing is canceled from day one. This will never go through. This is not a thing. There's harm, blah, blah, blah. Then you've heard people obviously that were like, this will happen no matter what it's going down. I think again and again, we continue to see like every time we think we've got a bead on how this is going to go, it usually goes the other way. And it surprises a lot of us for a minute. I, I, I but are you surprised? Are you surprised no. that FTC is doing this? Because I'm no. definitely not. No, like, no, no, no. Right. But I, right. I think, I think the thing that I'm saying is like I'm nervous about the moving forward because I, yeah. I think it still goes through. I think FTC just gets basically a shoulder shrug and a, we're done, mm-hmm. we're done with you. Get out of our, get out of our way. This is happening, whether you mm-hmm. like it or not. You don't have a case, mm-hmm. and your theory of harm is exactly that. A th- theory of harm not Mm -hmm. an actual proof of evidence you don't have any proof that this is going to be the way that it is but uh you know i so it's different right this the 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 hearing was theories this has to be actual harm so now it now that now they have to prove more than they had to where they just got their asses handed to them in the hearing so good luck and and (laughs) it literally it literally seems like it comes down to a situation where you've gotten upstart that just got a a position in government is very excited about the fact that she gets to make a big case of which the other ones that she's tried to do have failed. You, you try and throw something out like this. And and I personally think like she's it's, it's a matter of like arrogance. It's not that she has any ground to stand on. It's young and hungry, man. I think she's just young and she's got to prove something. Um, and, and she's gotten her butt kicked, what, eight, eight times, nine times? I lost count how many times she has lost in oh, a row. Yeah. Th- um, it's seven. It's getting, this will be Is eight. it seven? Oh, okay, yeah. this, <laughs> right, so yeah. like, and this, and this of, will be eight. Yeah. Of which I, I think I think even Boom and some, some of the other guys we're talking about is like the fact that, you know, doing this, like I even mentioned on his show is like, this doesn't look good for for united states government for her to come out and do these type of things personally i if i were in that scenario i would have said listen i'm glad that you're gung-ho about this you want to you want to make a difference you want to do things we're going to find you something else you can work on though like maybe we put right. you in energy and like green renewable energy or something so you can oh, make a difference you mean like there. totally bring her somewhere else okay maybe maybe move <laughs> her to something meant, else like, Go deal with Amazon or something, but you're talking about like removing her into I, it. I'm, th- I'm thinking like if I if I were someone in that decision, I think I would realize like the f- constant failures that have come up to this at this point, the amount of wasted tax dollars we've seen, and been like, you know, maybe this isn't a cut good fit for you, and we should probably cut our losses and put you in a different department at the least. 
Well, but that's I want to know where they are in their budget, right? So I know they have like a, I think it's like three hundred seventy-five million dollars for the budget. So by the way, that's what we're all paying for, uh, for them to fight stupid yeah. fights. Um, I don't. Not I'm, not, I'm not an anti-FTC person. I'm just, I'm no. just a logical person, right? I, There's, and yeah. it's not because I'm a game pad. Well. I, I benefit <laughs> from this happening. So there is yeah. there is some bias there. Like there's no, there's no doubt this goes through. I save money, so don't you, a, as a gamer. But there's yeah. also the logical side of this. And once you start crunching the numbers, uh, Mike Johnson in chat, uh, it just makes sense. You know what I mean? Like, uh, uh, look, you gotta realize, the we think these guys are the smartest people in the room. They're not, they got the math wrong, twice. Okay, yeah. like not even the FTC, uh, you know, a CMA. So uh, when your fifth grader can do better math than you, when you're taking five years of profits versus one year of losses, that's kind of a problem. That's a problem, guys. Like, it's just yep. basic math. Yep. Um, so it, it's, you know, you can, you can hate this deal if you're a PlayStation gamer. Fine. Yep. I, I, you, don't, you don't lose much out of this, in my opinion, if you're a PlayStation gamer. But... Um, the, is this good for consumers? Yes. Is this good for gaming? Yes. Does this make third place more competitive? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I, I, I would, so I would actually maybe being even with Sony. Why would the fuck would that be a bad thing? Don't you want? Yeah. That's pro competition. That is yeah, right literally right. definition yeah. of competition. Right? I, I would yeah. actually argue that this would also help uh, Sony, uh, well, PlayStation players because. If this goes through, gonna get weird. Um, basically, like play, uh, Sony is gonna have to do things to for the consumer. Like they they're gonna have yes. to you know do things for their services. Which at first you know everyone used to hate, on that side used to hate live service uh, you know service subscription and all of a sudden mm -hmm. you know when PlayStation Plus started getting better, everyone started saying oh it's it's a better service and all of this. <laughs> right. So yeah. apparently they they do like it if 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 they bring the A game. So yes. I think if anything if this goes through it's going to make Sony try to bring their A game and it's going to be better yep. for both platforms. So I, I don't Sour see brings how up a fantastic yep. point. Yeah. Yep. He's a, he's absolutely 100% right. Because look at what Microsoft did when they were getting their teeth kicked in. You got backwards compatibility. No one else was doing that. You got quick resume. You got the most powerful console ever. You got Game Pass. Sour Blow is 100% right. If your back is against the wall and you think you might lose some market share, you're going to start getting weird with it. You're going to start doing different things. You're going to come out with 10 gas games, which two of will probably only work. But that's what you do. That's what you do. Like the consumers usually win when competition becomes greater. Sour's absolutely a thousand percent right but, in my opinion. But we do so. we do have to be worried because if you look at the chat, we got Jim Ryan and he said he got <laughs> Lena Khan's back. So he's, I, yeah, he's in my chat should, too usually. I, so. We should be worried I, about that. I gotta give him props because uh because he also posted hey. that he did great in the disposition. So you know. <laughs> cheers. <laughs> cheers to you, sir. 